One and only James Cummings joins us on RaceNet TV. He's representing, of course, the Bart Cummings stable. We've got Coolmore Classic Day at Rose Hill on Saturday and the team's got one of the horses hard in the market in Norzita. James, can you tell us how she's come on since that run in Melbourne where she was a surprise loss to, I think, Flying Schnitzel? Uh, I think she's made good improvement uh, given uh, what we saw after a Tuesday morning track gallop here at Ramwick on the course proper. Uh, she rec recovered, um, you know, she was impressive in the way she recovered from the work and uh, you'd have to think going, uh, going into Saturday just the incremental increase in distance but back on her Sydney leg, she, um, she'll be effective but uh, she's not yet at her peak. Okay, what um, in that race in Melbourne, James? She ambled up to the leaders. I mean, I don't know what the bet fare in running would have been on her at the three hundred metre mark, but she was she went off at about a dollar sixty five. It would have been shorter at the three hundred. But when Stephen Arnold asked her for the effort, she just didn't seem to let down. Probably. Uh yeah. She she, she uh, it's reported that she didn't quite appreciate the very firm track at Flemington. But to be fair, Gerald's filly uh, flying schnitzel was extremely impressive and mm. really, uh, really savage the line there at Flemington. So, you know, it, it's a little bit like looking through that Coolmore. You have to be impressed with the way his filly went Flemington. You have to be impressed by steps in time and the way she's going this prep. Uh, and, and, and you have to be impressed with the way um, D. Demi's come back. This preparation looks a stronger filly. So yeah. uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a really good race, no doubt. They always are, but uh, very pleased to have uh, have Norzita in, in the stable, and and uh, you know they you know they always say you know they'd never want to swap their horse for anyone else's. And she maps well. She looks like to get the perfect draw from Barrier Seven. James is Donald on, and uh, she'll be able to get some cover somewhere. Yeah, look, Bart was a, Bart was sort of um, inquiring about James McDonald and the booking there last week, and I was quick to ring him on Saturday night and uh, ask him if he watched his rides at Warwick Farm because he. He did exceptionally well. He's obviously a jockey in form now, and if he rides Norzita the way he rode Dundeal, mm -hmm. then you'd have to be, uh, you'd have to think that you wouldn't get too many better rides than that. That was a peach of a ride last Saturday from James. Santa Gas as well, the German import, James. Um, he's come back in uh, not too bad an order. Yeah, he's uh, better than he was in the spring. He's a lot better than he was in the spring. Look, he's, um, he's still... Uh, a light framed sort of horse that um, I think you could probably argue he's taken it's taken his time to adjust to Australian racing. He's not flattered that not flattered the uh, the Australian scene yet, or even troubled the scorer. But we put the blinkers on him this week, okay. and my feeling is just seeing him track work this morning. And I haven't spoken to Simon Marshall yet, but um, we we discussed the possibility of putting them on, and um, Bart's pretty keen having them on there Saturday, and I, I think that's the right call given the way he looked this morning. Um, you know, he's been given the normal stage preparation that Bart would give a horse and he's only second up over, over a, a distance that's still a little bit too sharp. But it would be great if we could see him just rolling to the line nicely and stepping up to a race like the Chairman's, the, the, yeah. the 2600 metre race here at Ramwick. And, uh, and you know, that, that, that's when that horse can get sort of ranging on up on the outside and, and, and maybe sort of show his fighting qualities. Is uh, Sydney Cup bound possibly? Yeah, you know, he's a clean-winded stayer. Uh, if he was to perform well, then, then that, that's, um, that's, not, that's not a race that we're going to be scared off of from because, you know, that's this, he, I, think, I think that's a race where he could be seen to advantage. We've seen plenty of former reversals from the Bart Cummings stable over the years. He's been able to turn a lot of horses around in staying races. I think the blinkers could do the thing, could do the trick, yeah. Can I ask you for the best on Saturday? Well, Norzita will be our best. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, just really happy to have her back in the stable and, and sort of her campaign continues and, uh, and, and whether it culminates in, in a Doncaster or not, you know, certainly she's, um, she's put in two good runs this prep and, and hopefully she can continue to build on that. Good luck Saturday. Thank you.